cervezas, sandwiches, and mamacitas. That's right. The C S M, and that's for trucity. <laughs> Are you name. taking liberties, or is that a whole name? That's one name. <laughs> All right, let's get into the <laughs> WrestleMania 15 rage <laughs> party. Rage. 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 This is. Uh, so this was a Tony idea. So if this goes, this bad, is a Patreon's uh, dude. So many. I don't. Sure, this was I can't a lot go, of I can't go back idea. to the main person who suggested it because so many people have said, "Dude, have you seen this? Have you seen this rage party thing?" And I was like, "There's no way this is good." Like they're so it was yeah it was definitely something I saw suggested and I was like I don't know if we could do something on that and then Tony said let's give it a try and then I watched it and I said I was looking at my notes because we were talking I was like I looked at my notes I was like I have written a decent amount down for this show so I think this is okay I think this could work this is the most fucked up intro I've ever seen in my life this is unbelievable it is rage (laughs) and then phased out in in shots of ass cheeks and then the undertaker (laughs) (laughs) what the fuck is happening kane was in the intro for the rage party (laughs) rock and austin and undertaker and kane i think draws may have been in it as well are you telling me that Kane <laughs> is Kane up in the invited. club like Dirt Nowitzki. He was in the club. He was in, he was invited, in, he was in bro. the club. He was up in the club, too. He was smoking on that clue pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And a hat. Freddy Kluger. Oh, and his hat. Shit. Yeah, dude, this is, un- like, the intro alone to the show is unbelievable. It's, yeah. it's, all, it's, it's, it's a custom WrestleMania 15 rage song, and then genuinely club scenes. Like a scene from a movie, just club shots of people dancing in ass cheek and titties, and then you just see Undertaker's big fucking head <laughs> float into the screen. Oh, and, and Stone Cold. Oh, Masquerita Zoom Sagrada. In. Yeah. With the same vibes. Was, <laughs> with the lady. It's the same vibes, though. It's the same vibes, for real. Yeah, it is no, very it is. much like that episode of Shotgun. A uh, lot of fucking pyro. This is in, of course, Philadelphia. <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> because, you were there. Well, at this time, I was seven years old, so I don't know. <laughs> How long ago did you the drive from Newark? It's what do you mean? I'm in Philly, you fucking piece of <laughs> shit. This is at the Philly Convention Center, which is 20 minutes from me. Thank you. Wow. Much. Okay. In Philly, also me. <laughs> yeah, they had so, the Survivor Series Deadly Game Skull. Dude, just I, know, I knew you would love that for no reason at all. I I knew I was like James is gonna love that they just transported the, the Deadly in the world. Games. Why though? Why? Why? Is I have no idea. I think it's cool shit ever because it's sweet. Why not? It is fucking cool. Yeah, it is cool. Uh, and that is the show. I mean, it, it is Deadly Games was when The Rock turned corporate. So I don't know if that's what it was or just because it looked cool. I think because it, 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 it looked cool. sweet. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of pyro, big fucking stage, big oh, skull, a lot guess, of people. I guess I can put this in perspective. Like, I don't think the fan. Ac- they call it access now. Is that what it is, or whatever the rest of it is? So it's, I don't yeah, think that think was so. a thing yet, right? Or they didn't no. do they didn't if, do anything if like it that was, yet. If it was, it was on like such a smaller scale than it like is now. Yeah, because like, I'm not a, like an event. It was like a meet and greet fucking thing. Because looking at that, they like they would have that skull at like fan access now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, I was looking around just for any info I could find on this, other than it being like in Philly and all. And I uh, saw in Squared Circle, there was a thread about this specifically, and somebody in the comments from eight years ago, Bad News Brown says, I swallow cum, oh my. I was there. Since WrestleMania was sold out, uh, WrestleMania 15 is the next night, by the way, in Philly. Yeah. Since WrestleMania was sold out, it was my only opportunity to see any WWF wrestler live and in person. My stupid 14-year-old ass paid for an $80 ticket for entry into the event. <laughs> Although I do remember seeing Maya, Disturbed, and Big Pun perform live, which we did not see fucking Disturbed. Oh, yeah, no Disturbed. Uh, no. Uh, not going to hate completely, though. Catering was awesome, and for some reason, they had Doc Hendricks signing autographs in the big hallway. WWE still owes us. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. So eighty bucks to get into this thing, uh, the sea of fucking people jumping around. People had signs. A lot of them were fucking crazy. I wonder if uh, like they knew what this was. You think they like think it was going to be like a club party, or they thought it was going to be like a WWF style? Like there's the going to be like or a show? WWF. Or like, the people who came because why the fuck would you bring signs to the club? <laughs> yeah, <why would> you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, rate like. They've never. Done, I don't think they've ever done anything like that. So you would assume it's just like, oh, WWF, we're going to see some wrestling. But yeah, yeah, no, yeah. there was not no, this was any way wrestling. Different. Yes, completely. Well, uh, I don't there's... know. There might have been. There was Disturbed, and we didn't see that. So there might have been some nah, wrestling. I don't know. Yeah, it's true. Fuck, man, I want to see Disturbed. That'd be awesome. Yeah, they should have invented the Stone Cold theme there. They showed shots of the 
crowd, of course, and everyone is just flipping off the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> just, just fucking constantly people flipping off the camera. And then... No chance. Fucking Vince's music hits, and I'm like, all right, starting off hot here. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, th there's a gigantic. Is it a? Would you call this a poster? What would you call that big thing of the rock? Trust backdrop. It, okay, it's that's similar to exactly the uh, the uh, Triple H. Was it not the, the same one they used at Survivor Series? It might or have after been. That, maybe? I was thinking McMahon Helmsley era type thing. Yes, it's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um. <laughs> Big poster of the fucking rock or trust backdrop, excuse me, with the uh, with rock with the title. Um, <laughs> they, they, so the fucking corporations music is playing, and they're showing this shot of the stairs on this like upper level, mm -hmm. and they're I guess they're waiting for the corporation, <laughs> and very DPW style. Some random woman just walks down the stairs, <laughs> <in the shot. laughs> casually walking down the stairs. Just, give a fuck. Yeah, just walks down the fucking stairs. Ah, oh, fuck. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck. This was uh, all live, by the way. So I wasn't sure at first, because I was like, the mute, the sound, like, this was obviously edited in a sense that, like, the sound was way shittier in person, and you could hear it, but, like, because the, the songs were dubbed over on this show. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but it was live, uh, done live, though. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Because so was... uh, there, there were cues and everything, so, like, this was very yeah. live. Yeah, you can hear it. I'm yeah. not even, like, there was sometimes where I wasn't even sure if the crowd could hear the music because like later on way later on on the show when austin shows up like his shit's playing and no one's reacting at all like the like, austin oh. theme song yes 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 right yes. like mm, yeah. his, his yeah, tron's maybe. playing his music is playing and like no one's they were reacting no one's to just... the glass shatter yeah okay they were maybe, probably all yeah. blasted and Actually, drunk could... and hanging <laughs> out and... <laughs> we'll talk all, about it but they the, were smoking the lead in is stone cold wasn't very good either so you know that's that might, they might have killed the crowd it was we'll talk about that they might have killed the crowd so the corporation come down here. It's asshole, what a asshole. what a fucking <laughs> what a posse this is. I don't I don't know. I don't think I have everyone. It's Shane, Vince, Paul White, Test, the Boss Man, Ken Shamrock. Uh, eventually, Kane is in this mix. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's just Open just a, a <laughs> bunch of fucked up fuckers. Uh, Shane is dancing. Posse was there to too, the weren't they? Or were they not? Posse like... was in the pit. <laughs> they couldn't come to this. <laughs> they were in the pit. <laughs> uh, Shane is dancing to the corporation theme. As Tony said, there's just fucking asshole chants for all of them. It's so loud. It's awesome. So, does, did Vince talk here, or does it go right to the next thing? They I don't do. It it, they goes, don't do anything. It? They just. They just okay. appear. So they're setting this up as like <laughs> this is the corporation's balcony that they're going to hang out under this rock poster. Yeah, they're setting it up. Of they're, course. Also, yes. there is a stone cold balcony, I guess, somewhere, but we don't. There's see it multiple later. balconies. So many balconies that multiple different characters show up on. Yeah. yeah. And then there's mean, mean Street Posse and the PMS and the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, okay, what is Vince going to say? Ah, Philadelphia. No, no, no. We don't get any of that. We get Doc Hendricks on the uh, Michael Hayes. Michael? <laughs> Michael Hayes on Michael. the microphone. <laughs> he says, Philadelphia, give it up for the voice of Chef from South Park, <laughs> the legendary Isaac Hayes. And I'm like, I just went and fudged your mom. What? <laughs> I was like, I was thinking in my head, I was like, there's no way this is actually Chef from South Park. And then <laughs> he spoke one word. And I go, yep, that is Chef Hello from there, South Jordan. Park. Yeah, <laughs> when, when it says Isaac Hayes, his nameplate comes up and it goes, Rage! <laughs> <laughs> Every time so, the nameplate comes up, it goes, Rage! It, it's so weird. I don't know. I wonder who made Is that a, is that, that's a disturbed song? Too, that was them, yeah. alive? No, Bobby, yeah. no. <laughs> that's what it should have been called. Don't rage again. <laughs> <laughs> so it cuts to Isaac Hayes on the stage. He's uh, sitting behind a piano. His old band is there. And it, I felt like they were having like a technical difficulty at first because it sounded like he was saying, turn my headset up, yeah, they, bitch. They didn't even know, I don't think they knew it. They, they didn't start right away. So they're like, uh, what is yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, what is my, uh, what is, uh, Michael Hayes? What is Isaac Hayes going to play here? No relation. And Deb says, oh, I should play Chocolate Salty Balls. I was like, that'd be fucking hilarious. Say, everybody ever seen my balls that big and salty and brown? If you ever need a drink, pick me up. Just stick my balls in your mouth. Anyway, Mike, Isaac Hayes plays chocolate zombie <laughs> balls. 
There's no way they're going to introduce <laughs> Chef from South Park and not and have I, him play Chocolate Salty I Balls. I couldn't believe it, man. Holy I was like, maybe he has like an album shit. or yeah, something yeah, yeah. coming out or he something. Does. Like, yeah, <laughs> the South Park one. Yeah. Dude, huge pop for Chocolate Salty Balls. The crowd is dancing to it. This is a fucking fever dream. Fucking shock on my chocolate. Salty this young man is dancing to Chocolate Salty Balls. Yeah, that's what you call that was what he was doing. Dude, <laughs> yeah, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> Shane McMahon was going left and right. You see that shit? I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, dude, dude, Shane <laughs> is inventing the Shane shuffle on this show. <laughs> Boss man is dancing. Staring at him Shane, like, what is wrong? Shane is I'm gonna put him loaded. over this balcony. Shane got fucking drunk as fuck for this party. He is ready to Vince go. Vince turned into a chicken <laughs> and started fucking pecking at the balcony. I don't know Shane's, what is fucking going on. Shane's 20s had to have been so fun. They just Holy had to be hell. Hell like, yeah. Like, and, and, and like a top 10 20s of all time, Shane's definitely probably Dude, gotta be up there. You're, you're, oh my god, yes. You're like the lead he's the European commentator. champion at this point. He's, European he's drunk champion. and he's wearing the European championship the whole <laughs> the show. Whole sh the whole show. <laughs> Chocolate Leaf. salty balls. <laughs> <laughs> suck on my big balls. And Shane's like, suck fuck on my yeah. Balls. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. <laughs> I like the ah, chocolate <laughs> salty ball. So ah, suck on ah, my balls. Ah, ah, <laughs> this is this is fucking <laughs> insane, man. This is, my this, on his balls. There's a millionaire just bobbing his head to this fucking dude, ball song. This is the owner of the company and his son, and they're drunk dancing to chocolate salty balls before WrestleMania. It is the next like, day. We, we are unfucking touchable. Nobody can big, touch us at this yeah, point. <laughs> Stick my do. balls in your mouth. <laughs> This is good. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine the fucking owner and CEO of a fucking corporation right now today Bro, I, dancing to chocolate salty if, balls? <laughs> like they'd be canceled now, hold on now. immediately. If, if Tony, if Tony Khan did this exact thing, this would be the most base thing. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate balls! <laughs> Tell them to play chocolate salty balls. <laughs> if they don't play it, I'm going home. Oh, yeah. Encore. <laughs> See, I'm going to make love to your woman. <laughs> I'm in love to your woman. I'm going to you down. But I <laughs> 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 So I'm not going to sit back and take this fucking shit. This is so fucked, man. <laughs> I said, this shit rules. That's all I wrote down. This it's is unbelievable. the most base thing ever. Holy this, shit. I, if we could ever open a show like this, <laughs> we would be made, man. Yeah, this we got is... Chef from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just us three dancing. <laughs> Holy shit, oh, man. Fuck. And now uh, Eric Emanuel with they, chocolate salty balls. <laughs> <laughs> that Toby was it. I would, dude, if we could get Toby back out here for fire and I want him to sing, I'm going to make love to your woman. I'm going to make love to your woman. <laughs> That'd be fucking crazy. He'd dude, this is... Too. This is fucking insane. It cuts to the crowd. They're dancing. There's people just holding up Sable's Playboy. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know what people thought this show was going to be. <laughs> don't they cut to the crowd where people signing autographs too at this time when the music's playing? Or yeah, is that... yeah, like Jerry Lawler and JR are in the crowd signing shit. Shout go my chocolate. <laughs> they, zoom in, they zoom into draws like 100 feet away in this big top hat. <laughs> what, what Suck on my balls. Suck on my chocolate not, salty and balls. Not only, not only do we get chocolate salty balls, but I feel like this was the extended version because he starts just doing bits. He did, the, he did the whole song. Like, no joke. Like, even the bits that only make sense in the context of the episode, he did those bits here. He said, what is that burning? I smell something. Oh, uh, dude, I don't give a he, shit. The music did the show bits <laughs> in the song. The music gets really no soft. Visual. He's like, what is that, what's that burning? Uh, I smell that burning. I don't, I don't give a shit as long as I get paid and get money for my rent. What? <laughs> yeah. Woo. Come on, bitch. Uh, Put then, him in your mouth. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. They they they're showing Jerry Lawler and Jr. signing autographs. Isaac Hayes saying, "You just burned my balls. I'll put them in your mouth." <laughs> what the fuck is that? Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. I love this one, man. <laughs> Put him in your mouth, bitch. Suck up. <laughs> Suck up. He's getting into it. He's going crazy. If it was only 
this beginning fucking 10 minutes, I would have been happy. Holy <laughs> this shit. Is yeah, fine. This perfect. is the most insane thing. Like, if you want to describe, like, 90s wrestling attitude era, there's, like, Oh, my this. God. This is entirely it yeah holy uh, shit. It, i mean it was it was like uh like they didn't give a fuck about anything back then like no they didn't care about what the outside public thought or like any you know any other sponsorship or corporation or whatever like they were just fucking going with the flow like it it was it was it a was different fun. monster back then you can yeah. tell yeah, yeah you can um, tell vince is fucking going crazy up there like he's having a good time he loves his shit I assume it's not so much like that anymore. No way, bro. You think... <laughs> I Could you imagine Vince... them coming out on Raw next week and going, we're going to sing Chocolate Salty Balls in its entirety. <laughs> right after the Elias match. <laughs> oh, no way he has a match on Raw. <laughs> yes, uh, it's two unrealistic things then. <laughs> Isaac Hayes ends the song. Everyone is fucking going crazy. And then you smell. <laughs> 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 fucking here comes not only. Uh, oh, no. Th so the rock comes here, but it shows a, the big show there in FUBU shirt and big chain. Holy shit. <laughs> He's out of control. <laughs> that WrestleMania Lions paycheck main... about to hit crazy. <laughs> Holy hell. He's going crazy, bro. So the rock comes down the stairs here in a crazy fucking gold sh lion shirt wow. with the WWF title. Do you like they would show shots like from the crowd up to where the corporation was? Do you think people actually could see anything? No, up no, because they do they do a really wide shot at one point where you can see like people in the you can see shit. There's no spotlight or anything on them. Hi <laughs> Yes yes <laughs> Uh, I think Rockets they just had the wrestlers come out and do their gimmicks as a formality. I don't think they want to do any of this shit. No, probably not. Well, they just they you. Do you think WWF put this on, or do you think it was like a company that approached them and said, "Hey, we can do this thing, and you can make money"? No, I think uh, you is, could convince me this was a Shane project. Uh, yeah, I guarantee it was. Awesome. Hey, we can wow. promote WrestleMania. We can do a hey, big Dad, rage party. I got Isaac Hayes' number. <laughs> trying to get drunk ah, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Rockets on the mic and says, "Finally, the great one has come back." To his home away from home, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, I did not know that this was The Rock's home away from home. So that's very nice. That's awesome. Rock says, Stone Cold. Why would you care? Shut the hell up, You're Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> why, why must you come on this show and lie? We don't do that on this show. You already, you already lied about Mrs. That. Baba. You lied about well, Why a lot don't of you stuff. suck? <laughs> Oh, my balls. Balls. <laughs> Something's burning. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Something smells. Please. You smell. <laughs> I thought that's what it was going to be. Yeah, I thought not... he was teasing the rock. No, my balls are on fire. Please suck them. <laughs> okay, bro. The rock says, Stone Cold, last week on Raw, you hit the big show. Not one, not two. But three times with a chair. Stone Cold is obviously the biggest piece of Texas trailer park trash. <laughs> Walking. <laughs> you wish you had to deal with the big show. You wish you had Paul White on your side. But uh, uh. <laughs> The Rock has a special room for you. And it does say 316. And he will check your monkey ass into the SmackDown Hotel. Directly. WrestleMania 15. <laughs> directly into... <laughs> WrestleMania 15, The Rock guarantees to you that The Rock lives for two things. Prove to be the most electrifying man in sports entertainment today, and The Rock lives to kick your monkey ass all over God's green earth if you smell... Philly, this is not a sing-along with the champ. <laughs> <laughs> if you smell what The Rock is cooking. <laughs> and this is the first time we see Kane with fucking unsoaked hair. It's out a mile fucking wide. He's in full gimmick. <laughs> I, I'm losing my mind now. <laughs> Kane's chilling. Full mask. <laughs> <laughs> Who invited Kane to this fucking party, man? Shane, he was with him the whole night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm imagining Kane. You know the hook video? <laughs> oh my club, god. Club. Kane just slapping cheeks. They didn't show it, but I, I know for a fact Kane was back there. 
Suck on my balls. Suck on my balls. Suck on my balls. Suck my balls. Suck my big red balls. Or I'm going to set them on fire. What's that burning? Is that my balls? That's Kane. Smells. Smelly balls. Kane. You smell. I know Kane was back there talking about some. And it's on fire. I said, Kane, what are you talking about back there, bro? He said. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Hello, Grandma. I need to. I need to sell your television. <laughs> Smoking that Glenn pack? I'm all about that. That good, good. <laughs> <laughs> That bought my steak ass? Holy oh, shit. We're introducing, <laughs> we're introducing prop comedy to Deadlock. Let us know if you like it. I got a rubber chicken over here. You want me to get it? Just <laughs> <laughs> try and bitch try at one this more time for the people, James. Just so they get it. Take another hit. Come on. One more Take time. another hit for the people. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, oh wow! Wow! That look at that cloud. cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if this bit's good, please. <laughs> We're and trying that, some new stuff. And that out. was Kane up in the club. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do that, brother. Thank you. Do that, brother. Good job. Good job. I like it. I like it. Well, then they go to the uh, the entrance of this place, and it's people still trying to get into this party. This place is fucking packed. I don't know. I don't know if this was filmed earlier. Yeah, I'm or, assuming so. Or I'm, what? I'm assuming because uh, this kind of reminds you like the Bobby Heenan getting into the. It was exactly yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, That's that. your Bobby Heenan line, of course. Yeah. Um, Stooges are trying to get into the building. It's Joe Briscoe and Pat Patterson. Uh, the Ticketman is not letting them through because they don't have tickets. And Pat Patterson says, "Hey, I was the first Intercontinental <laughs> Champion. <laughs> Ticket guy does not give a fuck." I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my job, man. And then the fans start yelling at Gerald Briscoe and Pat Patterson. Briscoe and they, says something like, I was a all-state champion or something like that, too, as well. <laughs> I signed Jack Swagger. <laughs> so we then go backstage to the makeup room, and Sable is getting her makeup done for her big appearance on this show, which was a big appearance for sure. And then... <laughs> Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Tweezel Tweezel? and Ahmed Zappa. (laughs) Yeah, come on. (laughs) Come on. (laughs) Come on. Who's these guys are ready to rumble? And and were they? Yeah, and they got their new show coming out here. The Happy Hour. Happy Hour. Tweezel and Ahmed. Were they actually in front of the rumble? Yeah, they were ready to rumble. Is is he the guy that sells him the Slurpee that smells like ass? Yeah, puts his finger in his ass. That guy. Whoa. Ready to rumble. That's awesome. Are you lying? No, you're making this shit up. <laughs> you're a fucking, what? You're a fucking <laughs> asshole. Are you lying? I, can't, I really can't. Take smile. another hit, James. Let me know. What? Bro. <laughs> yeah, no, he is. Who? Yeah, no. Who? Dweezil or <laughs> what? Ahmed? Or Ahmed Zappa. Now, I don't know who either of those two guys are, but <laughs> Ready to Rumble was a fun movie. What a good what movie. The <laughs> <laughs> so they host a show called What the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> He's smoking, bro. <laughs> so, <Sucks>. so, so, <laughs> Marijuana affects Sable, the memory. <laughs> Sable tries to break the bald dude's hand because he's just they're just bothering her trying to get her on their show. I'm and they say, hey, can, uh, was that Ahmet, the bald one? Is oh, Ahmet I have no Zappa? idea. Dweezil. Oh, could you stop talking to me? Now <laughs> <laughs> you're just saying things. What the hell? They asked me if she could come now? on the show at 10 o'clock. Just now? And- <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time in history that you've you're just derailed the movies. show. Yeah, ready to rumble? Yeah. <laughs> just <Yeah>. now? <laughs> yeah, you ever seen Rocky? That's in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, they ask her if she'd come on the show at 10 o'clock. It's called Happy Hour. New show, Happy Hour. She says, okay. And they go, oh, yeah, hell yeah. And Sable says, I was just trying, saying, okay, get out of here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anyways, Happy Hour is set to come out April 3rd. <laughs> 
We go back. Michael or sorry, Doc Hendricks. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck his name up. We'll get in trouble. So this is the WrestleMania Rage Party, and Shane interrupts and snatches the mic. And <laughs> Jesus Christ, he is out of his fucking mind. Shane says, "We're gonna do this Shane O'Mac style. No, we got the Mystery Posse. That's Shane O'Mac <laughs> style. <laughs> How many styles Shane, are there?" <laughs> Shane O'Mac style is different, bro. <laughs> new, we got the Mean Street Posse. <laughs> <laughs> in 99. And I heard Deborah's down there. I'm going to go check. Adios. Boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Shane is out of his mind here. Holy he shit. He is so drunk and high at the same time. It's tremendous. Uh, the Stooges are still trying to sneak into the building. Uh, Pat Patterson has a cigarette behind his ear. I this never paid off. I don't know why he had a cigarette behind his ear. That boy Gerald chilling. Briscoe says we're gonna sneak in. Uh, with that behind your ear, you're a horse's ass too. And Pat Patterson says, "Horse's ass, horse's ass," <laughs> which of course leads to something a later. Good bit, a good there is bit. lore here. Yes. Uh, Michael Cole with an unbuttoned shirt g walks up to Sable in one of the balcony areas, one of many. Uh, and says, hey, I want to interview you, but you seem occupied. And Sable says, leave me the fuck alone. I'm jamming out the chocolate zombie ball. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Sable so Sable's is doing, doing the, grind. the grind. And she says, once I get started, I can't stop. <laughs> she is, it's like a, a Pringle. a problem, man. I just can't stop doing the grind. I just can't right. stop. I just can't. And this is also a situation where she is up on a balcony and no one can fucking see her, so no one's <laughs> reacting to this. It's like a decent, like, 30-second grind sesh from Sable. She's just going to town. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, actually. she's just spamming taunts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's the same animation over and over and over again. She's, up there, she's, saying, like, she's up there saying, I don't see enough movement. You know if you... <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know in the SVR menu when they had like Sable and Tori on the Smackdown screen oh, and yeah, they yeah. just looped the same animation? That's this. <laughs> Michael Cole is actually getting scared. <laughs> he can't handle all that. What are you going to do with that, Michael Cole? Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Shane could. Mean Street Posse and Deborah are hanging out in the pit. And Shane <laughs> Shane says, he walks up to Deborah and says, Deborah, you are looking F I N E fine. Those bodacious set of tatas. Let's kick it once. <laughs> and she says yes. She says yes. She says okay. And they start dancing. Shane is so fucking sick. This guy's the best. How the fuck you say you have nice tits and then you get a dance out of it? Bodacious set of tatas. <laughs> what? And he the just fuck? walked right up to her in the middle Hell of the, yeah. in the, middle Bro, of the crowd. You were, you were Deborah, like, Oh. Look at those fucking titties. <laughs> so you got those thoroughbred thighs. <laughs> those audacious tatas. Let me see what's going on. Bro, you were, you were absolutely right, James. Shane was just living his best life. Holy shit. It, had top, it has to be top 10 20s of all time. <laughs> You're, and then, he, uh, I just want everybody to understand this. He walks up to Deborah on the floor it's a here. a sea of people. Shane, with the European Championship on still, Cause you got them thoroughbred thighs and it's just tough. Oh, not, just not hit it thigh. with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's goes, kick it once. Yeah, we party in love. <laughs> and then with the, the European champion with the title, <laughs> and then the fucking Mean Street Posse all start grinding with her as well. It's just fucking insanity going on here, yeah, man. Yeah, boys. <laughs> it's a like, wrestler died twenty years ago, man. <laughs> And this fucking segment ends with some woman with a headset and a paper on trying to yell at Shane to fucking get out of here. It ends with this lady going, yeah, we're clear. <laughs> Woo, yeah, tatas. Yeah, we party alive. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. This is the most fucked up party ever, man. Tony, compared to the boy-girl parties, where is this at? Dude, is this similar? This is not any close. We had... We had like pizza and Hawaiian points. This isn't the rage party like that. Oh, like, what the hell? Me. Dude, we were scared to talk to girls. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? That sounds We were scared sweet. to talk to girls back then, you know? Oh, my mom said I can't stay late. I got to go home. You know how it is. <laughs> that's understandable, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. That was, my excuse. that was my excuse every time. To not talk to girls. Yeah. <laughs> I had to go home. My crush was there. Oh, shit. I got to go home. Oh, man. It's main event hey, time. Did you see ECW? I got to go home, man. Main event time. She didn't watch 34th Street on Massacre ECW Nah, show. man. The street light came on. You know, party's over. Girls probably didn't even know how many times <laughs> Super Crazy into Jerry faced. Yeah, that's true. She should know that. Get those yeah. statistics up. Yeah, true. You're Tony's better in there with the information. <laughs> she, did, she probably never saw one Masato Tanaka match. Yeah, there's no way, off, Tony. Bro. To name one, yeah. she said, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta said, go. I love the Tonka. I gotta go. <laughs> Big Tonka fan. 
<laughs> Tony said he's disgusted and he's leaving. He hits her with a Duncan elbow. <laughs> There they go. Suck Tony, I think my you just got a scorched mouth. <laughs> Put him in so, your mouth. We're back on another stage, and here comes mankind. Uh, Man says, "Hello, Philadelphia." I don't know if you can tell or not, but my leg is fucked up. Uh, I know we're here to have fun, but I like to dedicate this match to my uncle, who's trying to make a living driving a boat with a net behind it. And I haven't seen him in a while, so I guess you can say, "Shrimpin' ain't easy." I'd like to dedicate this match to my uncle, who is simply trying to make a living. Driving a net behind his boat. Unfortunately, the boat got left out at sea, and I haven't seen my uncle yet. So I guess what you could say is, shrimping ain't easy. Oh, oh my fucking god, bro! Oh, first, first, first he goes, first he goes. I have a knee injury. Limping ain't easy. Oh, it does. Oh, I didn't know the limping one. Okay. Yeah, that, he started off with limping. It doesn't get any better. He started off with limping eighties. So this is like uh, so, he's trying out his stand up for what he's going to do years yeah, later. Yeah, absolutely. He says, yeah. "I visited Independence Hall. I saw the Declaration of Independence, and then I went to a small museum. And in the very back was a very rare display containing a videotape of Al Snow's last decent match." <laughs> <laughs> Why you fucking say that shit? <laughs> he says, "I have. I've gotten sick." Of the rock talking about my monkey ass. <laughs> you know monkeys don't have, have asses, nice ass. by the way. <laughs> I saw a picture recently, Tony. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Everybody knows that the monkey is a member of the primate family, making it automatically a subspecies of the chimpanzee. There is like 10,000 people here watching this. Yeah, this is the first time I'm hearing any of these jokes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> And everybody knows, and I mean everybody knows, that chimpin' ain't easy. Dog, he, what he, is he happening? Hit, he said limping ain't easy, and I, just, I fast forward about seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I heard none of this. So oh, this I'm crazy, glad I wrote sad. it down for you. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> Holy fuck. You, like, you like the monkey ass line? You big guy? Yeah, these that? are awesome, yeah. man. Uh, I, wrote I can tell you, I'm, I'm in here for like an hour and a half, like drinking, having a good time, and I hear Mick Foley call us, they say, <laughs> limpinate easy, and I got a knee injury, I'm sorry, <laughs> what's going on, man, I'm <laughs> My arms are tired. <laughs> There's a guy in the crowd, a big ass sign, that says, I want hose. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. Anyway, what's on the behalf deal? of the WWF Superstars <laughs> and Al Snow, I got two words for you. Mm, beefy <laughs> hit my music Fuck. and then they play the rage music <laughs> Fuck, have man. a nice day <laughs> hit my music have a nice day yeah. don't you don't you remember mankind coming out to that rage <laughs> <laughs> that's masquerade sagrada and oh my god he's on the table with the ladies <laughs> with the ladies Holy i'll fuck. never forget that. he should have been here man oh how is he not booked god. for mania ha does anyone have masquerade sagrada's email yeah i got his number Oh, no. Him. No, I'm done calling. <laughs> Come on. It's the move. It's the new no. way, bro. Phone calls. No, it's I not. I got some numbers. I got some numbers for you. No, <laughs> holy shit. So Godfather now shows up to the building with two of his finest hoes. He says, I'm still waiting for two more hoes. And they look just like this. And he points to the hoes. <laughs> and when they get here, send them to the Godfather's penthouse suite. You know what that is, right? And the guy says, yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> and then a horse walks in. <laughs> a horse shows up. And the horse walks up to the security guard. It says, come on, you moron. I'm trying to get into the show. And the guy says, what do you mean you're a part of the show? And the horse says, what do you think? I dress like a horse to sneak into the show? Come on. And the security guard lets them in. <laughs> All right, sure. What yeah, go the, ahead. Go what ahead. The yeah, fuck? yeah. It just lets them go. What the fuck is going on? Pat Patterson then farts in Gerald Briscoe's face, and Gerald Briscoe cannot take it anymore and gets out of the costume and says, "Oh my god, you farted in my face!" And the security guard says, "Hold on a second. You're not a horse. Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> and it throws them out. <laughs> Wow. What the, what the fuck <laughs> There's is going on? There's a crazy clash in what's happening here. <laughs> there is this this stuff, uh, you could tell that it was definitely Vince had some say, and it was this stuff. <laughs> and the rest was Shane, yeah. And then we get a performance by Big Pun, 
And Shane wearing the European title the whole time is fucking loving it. He's losing his mind. Big pun in the house. I'm loving this. Check it out, PMS. They're just oh, ch check out it's PMS. <laughs> They're just too hot to look at. Go posse. Go posse. <laughs> <laughs> but Shane is on stage. I definitely going didn't think he was saying posse at first. <laughs> <laughs> Which made that, that crazy. That, I was no. like, how many drinks deep is this dude in now? He, he gets and on stage. Why is it not censored? He gets on stage and goes, oh, Billy! Oh, Billy, yeah! In the house! Give it up for two-time platinum artist representing the Bronx and the Terror Squad. Give it up for Big Pong! Yeah, boy, two-time platinum artist representing the Bronx and the Terror Squad. Big Pong! <laughs> What the fuck? He's Top out of control. 10 20s <laughs> Dude, ever. Hell yeah. Are you kidding me, bro? Uh, yeah, and Big Pun, I have not heard this song since I was me young. Me neither, bro. Holy uh, shit. Which was fucking Dude, crazy. Dude, there's another song um, that I heard later. I was like, holy shit, I forgot about that song, too. Fat Joe was up there, too. I don't know if you guys saw Was he? Oh, Big shit. Big Fat yeah. Joe? Fat Joe That's was awesome. There. That's awesome. Yeah. He, he, uh, he sings like the next song when they come back from uh, commercial. Yeah, him and Disturbed. Fat Joe song. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, mommy, no. No, no, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> No, mommy. No, mommy. No. <laughs> That's awesome. So Briscoe and Patterson uh, now are arriving back uh, at the security area dressed up as hoes. And Pat Patterson's, don't you ever question me again. Oh, because they got through. They got through as the hoes. The security guard agreed that these looked similar to the other Godfather's hoes and let them in. <laughs> so Patterson says, don't you ever question me again as they're staying there dressed as hoes. Briscoe says, I look better than you and I have a wonder bra on. Security comes back in and throws them out. <laughs> Patterson's argument to get the security guard to try to keep him in there as he says, come on, my name's Barbara. <laughs> I don't know why he thought that would be convincing, yes. but that is what he did. Are you ready? So here comes D Generation X. Are you ready? Making their entrance here. Are you ready? They come down the escalator. And boy, do they they show the escalator like ever before they come down. <laughs> and they just they just sit on it forever. The crowd's flipping out. Uh, Road Dog says, "What's up, Philly? You friggin' degenerates! <laughs> Where's the mahi mahi?" I, I, I mean, Johnny was like, "Hell yeah, we're a bunch of freaks Hell out yeah. here! Fuck yeah, I'm a piece Se of shit." Seven-year-old Johnny would be going crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, mahi, I was telling everyone to suck my chocolate salty ball, dude. So was I. Hell yeah, boy, girl parties, nine nine. Triple H says, "Philly, make some noise up in this bitch." <laughs> dude, the whole time, the whole time they're walking through, I can just, cool. I just keep thinking, "We're dirt. It's a pandemic," and he's walking. Yeah, where's your masks? <laughs> on Earth? There'll never be another time like this. Triple H says, Are you ready for the thousands in attendance and for the millions watching at home and for Philly, who are the loudest MFs I've ever heard in my life? <laughs> GFY. Let's get ready to suck it. Now, why did everyone want to get ready to suck it? What was the. They're getting ready. They're not why, going. They're just getting why ready. Why did. We, do we want to suck it? They've been sucking all night on the chocolate salty balls. <laughs> <laughs> From the start of the show, <laughs> Road Dog just does his whole spiel, and they just everyone just does their gimmicks, and then they leave. Dude, like they just watch their lines and leave. Watching this, I realized, fuck, X Fox never had a gimmick like that. Shit. No, he didn't have a line. He, I mean, he did the like, uh, Make some we'll smoke your ass. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> you ain't, ain't more. <laughs> that was his thing. <laughs> so yeah, they just do all their shit and leave. Uh, Patterson and Briscoe are still not allowed in. Briscoe says, what are my kids going to say? What were you thinking of? And Patterson, uh, looking at a bunch of like suit jackets, says, oh, that's our ticket right here. So in the, in the end, their idea was we should dress like we usually do, and they'll let us in. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. really understand what the fuck happened here. 
We go back. Shane is raising the roof in the corporation area. Vince is slapping Kane on the arm and saying, loosen up. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> loosen up. They're jumping at Kane right now. Dude, Shane and Rock are ma- are flinch checking Kane. <laughs> Kane is standing there full gimmick and she's going, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Kane does not flinch. That was, like, no. that was like me and Raleigh trying to get Johnny to drink with me. Come on, loosen up, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Kane. Lo- loosen up. <laughs> I'm taking shots. Johnny's uh, just standing there like Kane. <laughs> I'm just hanging out, bro. Leave me alone. I'm Kane. <laughs> so <I> get... <laughs> Patterson and Briscoe finally show up, and it says, "Where the hell have you been? I, uh, where, where, are you, where are you been doing?" And like, oh, we couldn't get in. And he's like, "All right, well, well, I need my briefcase out of my limo right now." So they have to fucking leave again. Uh, also, Shane and Rock are clinking their belts together, <laughs> which Best is cool. Best twenties of all time. Holy shit, clanking belts with the be, Rock. Man. Vince, uh, after sending the Stooges away, turns back to Kane and slaps him on the elbow and says, hey, you gotta got loosen up, pal. <laughs> and it fades out. He's like, you like this lady over here? You gotta loosen up there, pal. You like this lady over here? What lady? <laughs> Leave Kane alone. <laughs> Has he been through enough, bro? <laughs> He's just getting started, really. <laughs> So, some dude on the microphone starts saying, Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Yeah, he does, he does. And then Val Venus' his music hits. I wonder if that That's guy right. was, I wonder if that guy just like ran up on stage and grabbed a mic. Because they, they were on mic stands, you know? So I wonder if he just... I feel like that something was amiss here. And that was like a performance that got sidetracked or something. Mm. So Val Venus comes out, hello ladies style. In the towel, no shoes, here. no shoes. In a towel, shoeless! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this fucking guy? What He's the hell? A freak. He says, I want to introduce you, each and every single one of you to a band that has a hell of a lot in common with the big Valboski. <laughs> 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 Please welcome the cherry popping daddies. What? <laughs> I do not remember which, that name at all. Holy shit. Which is no. A swing band, apparently. A rockabilly band. <laughs> yes. The Cherry Poppin' Daddies. I, somehow Deb knew about this. I was very suspicious. I knew this song when I heard it. <laughs> you knew the song? Yeah, when I heard this song, I was like, holy shit, this song? It was like that so one. I, it's like a one hit wonder type song. Zoot so Zoot Crazy Riot. enough, I've heard Big Pun before. Mm-hmm. Have not sure. heard Cherry Poppin' Daddy who were the main event act of the evening. <laughs> I agree. So I'm Did assuming you know, they the didn't, uh, yes. the radio wouldn't call Cherry Poppin' Daddies on uh, the radio that often, probably. I can't imagine so. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> Did you know, by the way, that the Cherry Poppin' Daddies had an onstage prop called the Dildozer? Yeah. Which was a riding lawnmower modified to look like a human penis that mimicked ejaculation by shooting color fluids from its tip. Oh my god. Did Deb tell you this? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) That has nothing to do with the the question that I asked. (laughs) You fucking asshole. (laughs) Lose it out. So the Cherry Pop and Daddy's performed their hit single, whatever. What is it, Tony? What's the song? Zoot Suit Riot. That was a big hit, I think. <laughs> yeah, what? It's like fucking... number one on the charts. I'm not even lying. <laughs> Dead ass. I, I don't know. The last what? time I heard James say what in such a disgusted <laughs> voice before. Dude. That was genuine hatred for the fact that you knew that and what it sounded Dude, it like. It what the... was it again? Zoot Suit Riot. <laughs> Zoot Suit Riot, da da da. I don't know the rest of the words. Why did on. you just say that? Like, you think we're supposed to know that? <laughs> Dumb ass. Yeah, you of course. Dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> made it to the top 40 charts, okay? The Billboard. Fuck. You knew the lyrics, too. That's, That's dude, awesome. If you were, dude, it's just different area. You, you I could understand. see you in that group. I, you might be one of the cherry popping daddies. No, I don't have an ejaculation machine or whatever the fuck you said. It's not true. Oh, yeah, yeah. The dildozer? <laughs> <laughs> so no dildozer. Well, can we bring the dildozer to DPW? That's my finisher. <laughs> That's what the jugulator rides out on. Holy shit. <laughs> 
What was the you? When did we talk about that? The, the, the that little was bitch last, that was last <laughs> week. <laughs> last week, the oh, the baby bit. What the was little, it? Cut <laughs> destroyer or something? <laughs> that got so sick. The bitch boy annihilator. <laughs> that's what it was. Holy shit! That's what. Yeah, that's he's there calling it a dildozer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. So <laughs> the wrestling's just crazy. <laughs> like if someone asked him in the real, it's like, what's so you wrestle? What's your name? I'm the Juggalator, and I'm the Bitch Boy and Islander. <laughs> Please make sure to get that right, Bitch Boy and Islander. Go there. Oh, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, Cherry Pop and Daddy's finish their song and they say, Cherry Pop and Daddy, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. We're going to bring out a special guest. And oh I'm like, all right, this, this is, I was like, okay, they're going to bring out like fucking Al Snow or something. The fucking lights go out. Azan <laughs> Timbalé. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my <laughs> fucking. Dude, I lost <laughs> my fucking mind. ministry. Oh Dude, my I gosh. couldn't believe it. Holy Shake your fucking shit. ass for the dead man. Accept <laughs> the Lord of Darkness as your savior. Allow Except the purity of evil. Balls. <laughs> Allow the purity of evil to guide you, guide you, guide you. <laughs> <laughs> thank <laughs> you, <laughs> Cherry <laughs> Poppin' Daddies. <laughs> I'd like to thank <laughs> my close friends, the Cherry Poppin' Daddies, for Next letting time. me borrow the dildozer. <laughs> Bring the dildozer. <laughs> Big ups to our boys, the Cherry Poppin' Daddies. <laughs> Throw some ass for the dead man. <laughs> Bro, I just realized this is the night before he murders the big boss man. Oh. He kills the boss oh, man, man in one night. That match was supposed to feature the dildozer. <laughs> he was supposed to hang him and then dildoze him. <laughs> dildoze him style. to hell. <laughs> He's gonna dildoze him to hell. Oh, he flaming dildozer. Him goes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will perform the real sacrifice. <laughs> he goes back, drives the dildozer down <laughs> the ring, pulls through the hotel. <laughs> I imagine like Stone Cold style and Zamboni, but dildozer. <laughs> Boston's not even selling anymore in these kid you know? He's just like, no, no. <laughs> Undertaker is underneath him, shooting up jizz. <laughs> While he's hanging there, his legs are kicking. He's hanging. He's, he's unable to escape the dildozing. With Zoot Suit Riot playing in the background while getting jizzed on. Undertaker Welcome sucks. to my cum fiesta. <laughs> Awesome <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yes>. <laughs> Except <laughs> the dildozer as you say <laughs> oh, in your ass. These dudes are called the cherry poppin' daddies, eh? Dude, in in Kayfabe, the cherry uh, poppin' daddies snuck the Ministry of Darkness uh, uh, into the party. They're uh, part of the ministry as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Undertaker's in full gimmick and robe. <laughs> At the and party where Shane is drunk as fuck, hanging out with the boys. Viscera is also here, which is <laughs> just already a lot of trouble. Because oh who knows how many Viggies he is already in. So Ministry come out wow. on the dildozer. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Undertaker cuts a promo about this pay-per-view that no one even knows exists right now. Boss man, within 24 hours, you become one with your destiny. Now show me your tatas. <laughs> I have beads. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> the cherry pop and daddy's invited this guy. They're still on the stage. They're not leaving. <laughs> the whole yeah. <laughs> the cherry pop and daddy's do another song after this. <laughs> they got more hits. Well, well, <laughs> well, well, Undertaker lights his sign on fire too. So there's dude. That. <laughs> Undertaker says WrestleMania oh. Hell in a Cell. This is your destiny. And then he does the fucking hand taunt and sets a symbol on fire above the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> WrestleMania like, style, the pyro dripping down. A flaming cross <laughs> above the people. 
<laughs> the cherry pop and daddy. Dude, oh, oh, yeah. what the hell's going on? This is so fucked. Nice ass. Stone Cold has now arrived in the building through the front door. With a, with beer, a beer in his hand. Walking with a can of beer. And he takes the escalator. <laughs> 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 Which is why I assume after his music hits, he takes forever because he's still on the escalator. Dude, he's walking in the building with a beer, gets on the escalator. Let's get ready to rumble. Cherry Pop and Daddies. What the hell is going We're on back. here? We're back. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so Cherry Pop and Daddies uh, are done. They say watch WrestleMania, and then Stone Cold's music hits. Uh, this is where I wasn't sure that people could fucking hear the music because everyone was just kind of like whatever. But they're probably fucked up from whatever just happened. Yeah. Uh, Austin gets on the stage and he says, "I said it before, and I'll say it again. If you're ready for WrestleMania, give me a hell yeah. Oh, you damn right." <laughs> <laughs> As far as the ref situation goes, I don't give a damn if it's Paul White. I don't care if it's Mankind. All you gotta do, Paul White, you big bastard. <laughs> Mankind, you crazy bastard. All you gotta do is count one, two, three. Rock, you're still spitting them silly nursery rhymes. <laughs> you better leave the nursery rhymes to Dr. Seuss. Because Stone Cold's gonna be on your ass. <laughs> it looks like the rock is gonna fall off the balcony how angry he is. <laughs> He's just leaning over it. <laughs> Austin says, Vince, if you think I caused you a bunch of gray hairs last time I was champ, you got another thing coming. If I gotta drink another beer and raise the language on TV, if I gotta bring my single wide or my dildozer <laughs> and park it on your front yard, I will. And I guess there's some dude that's obviously helping run the show that's telling Austin, we have a minute left. He, please hurry the fuck up. He's oh, he's oh, he's oh, he's oh. Please, very he's oh. Please get done. Austin looks down at him, points at him. You don't gotta roll me up, son. Shut up. <laughs> And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. And the show ends with Stone Cold yelling at a staff member for doing his job. <laughs> so that was the WrestleMania 15 Rage Party. Now, why do you think they didn't do another one of these? Well, that's weird. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not too sure, actually. It seemed to go pretty well, in my opinion. I think it yeah, was cool. Yeah, I think so. That needs to go in a time capsule somewhere. Holy shit. God, it needs to go to hell and die. <laughs> toot, toot, style. <laughs>